Hello everyone, so this is my second video and I'm going to be showing you how to make these gorgeous bows here and they're really simple and easy to make and they um, they require hardly any supplies so let's get into the video. You will need ribbon, a hot glue gun, scissors, and a needle and thread. Okay, so we're going to start off by cutting about 20 inches of ribbon. My ribbon is also folded over, but um, you guys don't have to be folded over. And I'm not sure how wide this is. I'm pretty sure this is maybe 2 inches wide. So yeah, if you want the size bow that I show oops, here, then... Um, then yeah, about a two inch wide ribbon and 20 inches long. What you're going to start by doing is folding your piece in half and making a crease at the end. Then what you're going to do is take both sides and fold them into the middle and make creases on both sides. And then you're going to unfold that and take your outer crease and fold it into your middle crease. Now it's probably a lot to take in, so we're going to start over. You have your 20 inch piece, you fold it in half, crease it, unfold, you fold each side into that middle crease, and crease the sides. Then you're going to unfold that, and take these creases that you just made, and fold those creases into the middle, but this time at an angle, and the angle will create your bow shape. You're going to do it the other side. Take your other crease, fold that crease into the middle, but then angle it. And now you basically have your bow shape here. You can stick a pin in if you like. Oops, I have all these bent pins here. Yeah, you can stick a pin in to hold it in place if you want to. And now what we're going to do is take our needle and thread, be sure that you have made a knot at the end, as I have made here, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you're just going to start in the middle and just weave your needle and thread through. So just begin to weave it through your ribbon. And this will gather the ribbon so that it can get its bow shape. I'm going to push everything together, be sure it's all straight, which mine's not. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I want to be sure it's as perfect as possible because this is the, this is your chance to get it perfect. But of course, you know, it can take some practice, so don't worry if you don't get it perfect on the first time. You just pull your thread and just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until it begins to gather. I'm going to take out your pin now. You just kind of want to keep pulling the thread and your ribbon at the same time so it gathers and gathers and then just wrap your extra thread around your bow just like this. And I always like to have a lot of extra because it makes it tighter. But then you can just make your knot, so I just slip it through, and then instead of pulling all the way, I just slip my needle through the loop. Just like this. And I just do that a couple of times to make a couple of knots, because you want this to be nice and secure. Once you've done that, you can take your scissors, Cut that off and fix up your bow. Kind of stretch it around, maybe do a couple of more things with it. Now what we're going to do is make a centerpiece. This is where your hot glue then comes in very much handy. You're going to want to take your ribbon and cut a piece. It does not have to be big. All it has to be big enough to do is to be able to wrap 
around your bow. That's all it has to do. Set your bow aside. We're gonna work with this little piece here and our hot glue gun. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fold our piece over, almost all the way over, but we're gonna leave a little bit extra on the end. We're gonna crease that and then fold over that little extra piece that we left on the end there. And then we're gonna have clean sides, a very clean piece. You can always just keep it like this, but I always like to glue it. You wanna be sure that it's not too thick to go around your bow. Mine's like the perfect size. I mean, if you want it to be thick, you can, but I usually like mine kind of, eh, kind of depends. Like, on a few of them, I'll make them thick, and on a few of them, I'll make them small. So, yeah, it kind of depends on what you want. But we're going to crease those a little bit more so we can get that perfect line there. And then we're going to add our glue. Very soft line. good enough. Then we're going to take that last piece, that last side, and glue that shut. Could be hot, so if you, this is my age recommendation, but uh, you might want to check you for your parents. My age recommendation is probably 10, but I know a lot of people maybe do 12 or 13. So, just check on with your parents to see if you are good enough to use a hot glue gun. Now, what you're going to do with this is, oops, let me just quickly glue this down. Since mine's double layered, you always have to glue the second layer down too. So, it's kind of annoying, but, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but I deal with it. Ow. And see why they wanted to double this up. It's very thin, so I'm burning myself a lot with it since it's so thin. All right, what you're gonna do is add some glue to the front. Um, I'll pick this side as the front. Add some glue there, tiny bit, just a blob of it, just a tiny, tiny blob. Just press your piece down into the glue. Kind of adjust it a little bit if you like. And what you're going to do is fold it around, flip it over, and you're going to cut, see how there's like two pieces because you folded it over? You're going to cut one of them down to size. One of them down to the perfect size so that it can just fold over. Okay? We're going to add some glue to the back there. Oops, it's kind of a lot but hopefully I won't burn myself. And just going to stretch, stretch, stretch to get it really nice and tight and then fold it over. I'm gonna take my other side and I'm going to fold that over as well to keep it nice and tight. And just hold it there. Hold, hold, hold it there until your glue is dry or at least it's almost dry, it's, it's set. Okay, now what we're gonna do is hold it like this. Here's how I like to hold it. I hold it so that my thumb is on this long piece and my other fingers are way down here so that all I have to do is roll it. Okay, so I'm gonna add some glue right there. Hold it, like I said, and I'm just going to roll it. And then just keep it there. Keep, keep, keep it there. Till that glue is almost dry. You want to be sure it's only almost dry, otherwise you will have the glue way up here and that won't look pretty. You won't have a nice clean part. Um, but you just want to wait till it's almost dry and then cut off the extra. And the reason why I like to do that rolling thing is because it kind of keeps it in place helps it keep it in place and nice and tight. If you want you could do it your own way but that's how just I like to do it. And now you basically have your bow. Me personally I like to angle the edges so I fold it in half 
to get a perfect angled edge. I just put these two, line them up, and I will cut the edges at an angle. I try to get them as perfect as possible. Usually that doesn't happen. But look at that. Got perfect angled edges, a perfect bow, perfect centerpiece. Now all I have to do is add a clip to the back and I will have a hair accessory. Or all I have to do is add some glue to the back and add it to a picture frame or something. These can be used as many different things. Uh, you can add it as a uh, room decoration, you can put it on a picture frame as I just said, or um, a hair accessory also as I just said. So you can basically do a lot of things with these. They're very, very pretty. Uh, if you're making a dress, you can put them on the back of a dress to style up the dress. That definitely makes it look a lot prettier and nicer. And the ribbon that I use is nice and thick and it's very shiny, so it's, it's very nice to use on the back of a dress like that. So. Um, yeah, you can definitely use these things for whatever you might have in mind. Um, you can even hem the edges a little bit. I like to hem these edges. I might just do that right now. I think I will. Fold them in a little bit. And hem them. A very thin line. That was kind of thick, so I'm going to kind of deal with it deal with the burnt fingers later. But yeah, they're very, very pretty. And yeah, so I would definitely think that they're a nice decoration for anything if you want to use them for that. Um, I'm not, well, I don't even know what I was trying to say, but they're very, very pretty. So, if you try them out, um, yeah, you can let me know somehow. I don't know. I don't have a Twitter or an Instagram or anything, but yeah, they're very pretty. So, I would like it if you tried them out. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more crafting videos. Um, I may also, every so once in a while, do a little video about something random, you know, crafts and more. That's what the more is standing for. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely trying to get some subscribers in handy since I only started a YouTube channel a couple days ago. So, I don't even know if I have any subscribers yet. Because uh, I only have one video up so far. This is my second one, so... Subscribing to my channel would be a big help to me. So, yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button. And I hope I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And yeah, the bow is it's very pretty, and I I think could be used for many different things and causes and reasons and everything that I just said pretty much meant the same thing but yeah they're very they they can be used for many things and I think they're very pretty and stuff but that's all up to your opinion so if you try them out just um, I hope you like them and I hope you like this video once again so yeah bye